Hello everybody, this is Pam at the Paper Outpost and I think this is part 12. I could be wrong, I think it's 12. Of how to make a junk journal from an old book. Hey, are you having fun? Is this a blast? I'm totally having a blast creating this book with you guys. Step by step, the slow crafting method. We're just taking it easy one little step at a time. Okay, so let's see where we are. Let's look at our little gator mouth and how it's growing. Okay, so we are, we are, uh, I would say, like if I squash it, it's still regular book size, but if I let it go, it opens up a little bit. So we're, we're starting to get into the, the spread. <laughs> yeah, it's got book spread. <laughs> um, and it's perfectly fine the way it is. If you bound it now, it would look like a normal book, but we're not done yet. <laughs> and you can stop at any time, of course. At this point in the game, at this juncture, I usually like to go from the back to the front, a quick flip through and decorate some of the things that I have left somewhat plain. And the reason why I do that now is because I may decorate them and that may bulk things up even more. So that will dictate or um, decide for me how much more bulky stuff I'm going to put in as I go. Okay, so um, well, okay, we'll, we'll get to this. I have the next thing on the list too. So this thing is the process of, we're going to open it up. Uh, now we haven't done any uh, front cover or anything like that. We could totally uh, do that and that's probably a good idea, but I think we'll leave it a little bit later. Maybe we'll do the front and the back cover at one time. Uh, okay, so I have a little something here and I have this here and I could say, do I want to add something to that? And that's really pretty the way it is. I'll probably... Uh, maybe I'll add some stickles or something like that or a little bow or something. Maybe I'll just get a little bow or something. So I may be dashing off and back and forth. Let me drag my little, my little uh, laces closer so they're easy to grab. And let's see what we can put on that little one there. What are you? Okay, that's kind of a fluffy. I don't know, I just found it in my uh, thing of laces. Maybe, maybe too thick, I don't know. Could put it there too. We'll use you somewhere in here. I think you're very pretty. Oh, uh, I don't know. I'm feeling like I want a little bow. What you got for a little bow, Pam? Keep looking. Okay, here's a little piece of tattered material. I think that might look nice. Okay, I'm going to do the old double bunny ear and then cross them so we don't get too much bulk. Well, that came apart. Oh, the whole thing came apart. All right, we'll try again. It's shorter now. It's shorter now. Let's see if I can still do it. Might not be possible. The ship may have sailed on this one. We shall see. All right, there we go. Well, we do have like a little bit of a, a little bit of a bowski there, which I think would be very cute just dangling off the edge. All right, so I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pull out my handy dandy uh, Tim Holtz tiny attacher. Uh, and I'm just gonna plop that right there. All right, gonna get some Fabrifix. Come on along. And it's going to work as a little bit of a, a little bit of a page tab. It's going to stick out just a wee, just a wee bit, uh, but just something for interest, just sort of fun and dandy. All right, let's look for, um, I want to put something on top of that. Now, if you don't want to create a lot of bulk, one of the nice things, you could actually, that piece that came off, I could just come along and take a little piece of this and just glue it on top there. That that's might be what I'm going to do. Now you could put a little colored thing or something there too. That would be cute. Here's a little piece of lace that's been coffee dyed. I could just lay that across there for some visual interest. Maybe we'll do that. Maybe I'll cut a square out of this. These little tiny, tiny pieces come in so handy and you think, oh no, I don't need that little piece. Well, you might, you just might, you know what I mean? All right, there we go. I think that's going to be just fine for that little kitten. The little kitten with the milk. Here we go. Putting some Fabrifix glue, clear silicone glue, fabric to fabric, fabric to paper, paper to paper. And we have a little diamond shape there. Very good. Okay, nothing too fat, but we are moving on. Let me see. There we go. Just a little something. Um, all right, we carry on. Okay, this guy, he's got two decorations here, some stitching, I think he's good. Um, we may come down and, you know, in the end and do some rubber stamping and that, but this is not that. This is decorating the uh, tucks and things. Uh, I did do some drawing with the stickles there, or that's actually probably Nouveau, Nouveau Drops. And uh, do I want to do something a little else here? Maybe, maybe something in here. Maybe I want to put a little rubber stamp or a sticker. Um, let me, 
Let me go over and see my stickers. You got anything that would look really cute there, Pam? Well, probably you're gonna have to dig though. You have this mountain of stickers over here that you, again, had to have all of them, you know? <laughs> but they're so cute. I can't help myself. They are so cute. Now I don't want it to compete with the little picture. Okay, that's kind of cute. I like that. Okay, we could do that. All right, now, the big question is, should we peel it off or should just we should just stick the whole thing down? There's nothing to be embarrassed about if you stick the whole thing down and don't go through this ridiculous process of trying to peel off the sticker. Because you could be for here for an hour and a half and really have to ask yourself, once I peel this off, I probably need to use some Scotch Create glue stick or just any glue stick to give it a little extra adherence because stickers are often like washi tape. They're not super strong and they may peel off on your own. So just give it, give it a little extra, just slap it down. Yeah, it'll be all right. Okay, here we go. Oh, get in the way of the words there. Oh, I folded it. Oh, Lordy May. Oh, now we gotta fold it. Oh, retreat. Okay, boy, when did life get so complicated? Come back here, little sticker. Listen, little stick, if you're not gonna play, we're going to find another one. Okay, no, you played. Okay, so there, I just added a, just a little something, you know, it could, you could keep going, um, but I just wanna go ahead and add a few little somethings here and there, just to give it a little bit more intrigue. Um, this I'll often do as I'm working my way through a journal. If I see something that could maybe amplify the cuteness of the page, like maybe this one, not that, Dauber. Um Might need a little bit more pink enhancement or, or pinkish <laughs> This is on an avocado dyed page. And I thought maybe I'd just come along and have that page edges just pop a little bit more. There, I like that. I don't know. It's just kind of pretty. Okay, there we go. Now really pretty, right? And do we want to put something here? Maybe. Maybe we'll put a nice subtle little uh, rubber stamp there. Um, what are you? You're cute with the word believe. We've got smile and believe. That's nice. I'm going to use my black soot ink. And maybe I'll just, that one's going that way. So I'm going to do it the opposite way. I want to, oh no, I'm going to put it straight on. You know why? Because I have a line going this way. This line's going this way. So I think I want to do that because then that line goes that way. So that's my thought process there in case anybody was curious. Not sure if it made any sense, but there you go. And uh, she will be greeting somebody who comes along. This is a little pocket working very nicely. And this is a flip up. I think I'm going to leave that fine because it has a lot going on. It's been inked and stenciled. Bling is present. We have a counterbalance up here. You don't always have to have that, but it's kind of nice. Uh, this is, has a pretty uh, side trim to it. And there's some uh, stenciling and stamping going on over here. That's good. Here, that's nice. Do we want to maybe something a little surprise right there, right? I feel like we need a little surprise. I think I'm going to get a little postage stamp and just pop it up there. I just think that would be oh so fun to find. This is a very old Canadian postage stamp. I think I had one of those the other day. It looks really familiar. Who is that? Does anybody know who that is? It's probably, um, I think I was saying it's Captain Cook. We had a Captain Cook and uh, what else was there? There's always like a couple guys that always came up all the time in the old Canadian history, which only Canadians know. Nobody else knows it. Um, we all grew up knowing American history, but nobody ever knew Canadian history. But, yep. <laughs> that was the way it goes. I don't know if it's still that way. Okay. Now this page is very glittery and pretty in the center, but do I want to do something to the edges? Maybe I, I might take some um, walnut stain and just, I mean, not necessary, but maybe it's just a little bit of framing. Just a little here and there. And I don't mind if I get it on the pages before and after because this is a bit of a grungy style journal and it can it can take it. it it'll, it'll be all right. Just a little in the center. Always just kind of makes it look a little bit more, um, I don't know, treasure mappy, old world-ish, that type of thing. Yeah, and just maybe give it some framing on the corners. There, now we have that. Now we could put something here. That might be nice. Um, I don't want to overdo it because I want it to be what it is, but maybe a little something. I don't know. Let me go look. Um, let me look at my, what have I got? I've got words. 
Maybe we could use some words. I don't know. Notes? Oh, that looks kind of cool. I like that. I think I got this from Nick the Booksmith. I'm just That's just ringing a bell. Um, so, yeah, she has some, some really pretty digi kits and stuff to look at, too. So check those out if you haven't checked them out. Um, there we go. I'm going to just stick that there. It's neutral. It's playing on the neutral thing. And, uh, yeah, I think I'm going to roll with it. Okay, dokie. Here we go. I'm just gonna, and I'm gonna kind of half hang it off the edge. I think that's that's very mixed media of me to do that. Yep. <laughs> I don't know. Some hanging off the edge is a thing. Yeah, it's a thing. Okay. I'm just gonna let that page rest. It's okay to have. Um, this has some uh, eye candy on it and, and uh, functionality to it. But I think with the next page, maybe I'll do a little bit more rest. Um, and it, and a, a nice thing, to, I guess I'm going to be stamping because that's what I'm doing. Um, okay, I've got some flowers here. A little uh, peg stamp, a little cluster of, uh, I don't know, like a little leaf cluster. I think. Let's try. We're just going to do some, uh, maybe make a little page trim here. And uh, I'm doing this apparently in, in Walnut Stain. I was actually headed for the black, but I picked up the wrong one. So it's all good. It's all good. Now what you can do with these, which is really cute, if you haven't done this yet, um, this is going to be a lot of fun. You take this and now you go in a different color. Like maybe I'll go in pink and you kind of just like miss the first one. You stagger them just a little bit. They can overlap. It's really cute when they do. And you build yourself this really cute little um, page trim, page border, uh, something very special. And these are, these are fun to make. So if you've never done these, I highly recommend it. Okay, now let's go for the black and I'll show you what it looks like up close because I feel like you're sort of far away. Well, that's a little close, isn't it? Back up. Okay, there you are. <laughs> okay. Oh, uh, here we go. Uh, okay. So we're making almost like a, am I in the brown? I'm in the brown again. What, what, what up? What up, sister? Go ahead and grab the black. This is called black soot. And now I will grab it. This was what I planned originally. And well, I'll just put some random ones in here. They don't, they don't really have to follow any rhyme or reason. I'm just filling in the holes. They don't have to be exactly the same number apart. Like if you put two together, it's okay. If you don't put a whole bunch for a while, it's okay. Yeah, you can do that because it's your journal. Yeah, there we go. And um, so I think that's really effective and it's just a hoot of fun. Okay, so here, here it is. There it is. Yeah, something very simple, very easy, but I think very effective. Um, I think the fun thing about a no, no, I don't want to. I don't want to make it sound like there's any rules. There's no really, there's no real way to correctly do it. You just do it however your heart sings. Um, maybe I want to do something. Oh, you might come in handy here. Oh, I do. I would like to do that. So this is just. Some, uh, I want to say like a chiffon or something that I sewed together with some pink string. And I think he finally found his home. He's been flopping around in my, in my drawer for a long time. And now today is his day. Here we go. I'm going to put you down so only a little bit sticks out. We don't want like, like all the heavens to stick out. We just want a little. Okay, there we go. We don't want to fatten up too much. But it's okay if we fatten up a little. That's what we tell ourselves, like being at the dinner table. You know what I mean? <laughs> okay, here we go. So that's cute, right? Definitely adding some bulk with that baby. Now, um, okay, some neutral pages. Now, um, some people like to have the holes in the college rule. Some people don't like to have the holes in the college rule. If you choose, if you say, hey, I don't like the holes in the college rule, you have options. Always, you have lots of options. Um, I've got punched outs and I've got clusters. So this is where we can go plug holes if you want to. So I'm going to grab my punched outs, these. I just sat there for hours on different days and I punched. That's all I did was I punched. So you can take circles or little tree leafy things and 
You want to put something here, you can do that. If you want to ink them, you can ink them. Oh, you can put leaf shapes or butterfly shapes or anything you like there. Totally fine. You can also um, cover those with uh, like corner uh, pockets and stuff like that. So now remember, you're going to have a little sticky side there because of that. So maybe you want to do something different on that side or you could match it, whatever you like. I have this little one that looks like a stamp. But let me look a little deeper, see what I find. Um, okay. That's kind of cute. Okay, let's try inking you up. Maybe we'll ink you up with the pink because you've got the pink line there. We'll play off of that. And then you just come along and you stick it down. It's as easy as that. It really is. It's as easy. You can even go over the edge of it. That's okay. That's okay. Yeah, that's like a, that's a look. It's a thing. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I'm not going to do it this time, though. No. Yeah. All right. But you can. I just wanted you to know that you could. Okay. Make sure you guys are all right. All right. Now we've got these guys. Now what I would do with this guy to give him a little amperoony, he needs something. You know what I mean? I'm feeling like something somewhere somebody said he needs a little something. All right. I'm looking. What's this? How about that? That's kind of nice. All right, we'll just stick you there. Um, and maybe make you pink too. And these are the little little um, artsy touches that uh, this this is like jewelry um, or the candy or the icing. You know what I mean? Like you're just having fun doing little goofy things. Maybe that's a tree. Maybe it became a tree at some point. You know? Who knows? It's a cute little thing. Yeah. All right. There's not much to it, but hey, it was fun. And uh, now this little guy, he's very pretty. He has a different feel from the other papers. Very velvety and uh, creamy. But I think what I might like to do is brown up his edges just a little bit because he's going to pop really nicely against the, the page next to him. So sometimes your center signature page, um, if it's a special page that you've chosen, you might want to orient it a different way. Like this one is long while the rest are wide. Um, but you don't have to, and you don't even have to have a special center page. That's not an absolute, but uh, it's kind of a fun little surprise. Like, oh, I'm in the center, and what does it reveal? What does it reveal? Okay, now, um, shoo, let's see. Maybe find some. Uh, let me find my drawer of things. You know the things I'm talking about. I've been like, I've been like doing that lately. Let me do that again. I'm just going to grab some really cute buttons and they can, they can be the things that hang out the bottom. I think that would be fun. All right, let me just find some cuties. Or you could actually put several buttons on each little dangle, you, could, you know. Um, yeah, I'm just going to grab a, a few. I'm over in my button drawer. That's where I am. Um, I'm coming back. Yep, no, I'll just be a minute. I gotta find the right one, you know what I mean? Okay. Sometimes. Okay, I got this little collection. Just pretty little buttons. Some metal, one pearl. Some are old. Maybe some are newer, but they're definitely all in, I say, vintage or unique in some way, shape, or form. Okay, so I did this on the last journal I made and I thought it was really fun. So what I did was I took the long string of the inner tails and right close to the base, maybe maybe an inch down. I did a little tie. I tied a knot. Yeah. And then that gave me two of these. And with that, I could do something cool like thread one of these. You, if you have these need, uh, needles, if you have these buttons with a shank, you can tie them on like that very easily. Okay. And then that's going to be below the book, which I think is kind of cool. Or it could be above the book. Um, depending on, you know, how, where you want this little thing to, to dangle. Or you could use a flat metal charm uh, to, to nest inside your book. But I've got some really cool buttons and I want to use them. So there you go. I'm using my buttons. Um, maybe you want to remember to do the backs of that too. There we go. We're just doing a little decorating. Yeah. Okay. We have something here. Okay. Now maybe here... I'm going to put a faux, I think this is like a scrabble thing or something. Um, it's thin, it's not fat. 
Okay, it's just like a, uh, it's an art, it's for arts and crafts, arts and crafts. I mean, now I'm, now I'm 10 years old. I'm going to my arts and crafts class uh, in the summer. Okay, I'm going to, I'm going to put it on an angle. There we go. There we are. Okay, just going to put that there. And going. Okay, now we probably want to put something here. You're kind of cute. What are you? Hmm. Okay, here's the long guy. I mean, they really don't have to have any specific rhyme or reason that you can just like the piece and want to put it down. Maybe it's just a torn book page or a little picture from a magazine or, you know, something like that. I mean, I just, I don't know. I just think that looks cute. I think you're going to look cuter like that. Okay. So let's go ahead and pop him down. Oh, ooh, okay. Yeah, okay. Got him. <laughs> they like to run away sometimes. It's true. It's true. Uh, there's some glue on that page. I can see it. So yeah, you got to be mindful of the, the glue bleed that might come through. Just roll it around and roll it off your page and all is well. Okay. Um, now we're just cruising. Something here maybe. Yes, I think something. And what? Maybe something like that. Now if I ink you up, you will look very nice. You will be striking. Mm -hmm. You look nice over here too. Well, let's just see what you look like. This is a punch out. Yeah. And these things are relatively flat. They don't cause a lot of problem. Now I could, since I'm here, and this often happens, I plan on doing one thing and I do another. Yeah, that happens all the time. Um, yeah, I punched a uh, field guide out with a big, I think it might be a three, let me look how wide, it's a three inch circle punch, okay? and uh, just punched um, field guide. So you get some really cute little birds. Yeah, I'm gonna put you, a minute, maybe like that. That's kind of pretty. All right, so these are just visual interests. They don't really serve a purpose. You can turn them into pockets and tucks, but I'm, I don't wanna bulk up too much because we're starting to get chubby. It happens fast. I know it's just, just like real life, right? Um, but there, I think that would be very pretty. Come here, little guy. And there's still lots of writing room. And you could technically write right over these as well. Maybe sparing the little bird. But you know what I mean. It's not, it's all right. Okay, there we go. Um, yeah, I found some nice field guides. I was uh, in my favorite thrift store today and I found some. I was like, oh, I love these. Yep, they came home with me. It's true. It happened. It did. Yep. <laughs> and uh, but some you got to look at the you got to look at your I think I want to run around with those with some stabilo um you got to look at your pictures in the field guide because some field guides I mean it all depends what you want too. like if you want uh, um, written words about birds and animals then that's awesome because you can do a lot of fun stuff with that but if you want visual images check your field guide um, first before purchase, if it's possible. I know it's a little harder online, but if you can get out to the thrift stores and at least see which ones have good picturage, then that can, that can really get you started down the happy lane. And I want you guys to have fun. Whoops. Yeah. Now you have to be like sort of close, but it doesn't have to be like exact, thankfully, with the beloved Stabilo pencil. Um, looking for my squirty bottle and it is gone. How can you be gone in your giant bottle? Oh, oh no, it, you know what? It was right where it was supposed to be. And there I was last place looking for it, right? Yeah, there we go. I actually put it away. I put it away. Yeah, okay. Yeah. And this, this just emphasizes it up just a little bit more. Kind of smudgy smear, smearish smudge. Yeah, there we go. All right. Now we get a little more. Now we'll do this guy. Yeah, sometimes it comes out more intense and other times not so much. It just depends. Yeah, but it's really kind of cool effect. I don't know, I really like that. I really like that uh, pencil. It's an awesome pencil. It's the, if you haven't seen me or heard me talk about it, it's the Aquarelle Stabilo you see that? Aquarelle's, what was that? <laughs> the Aquarelle Stabilo 8046. Mm-hmm. 
Mm -hmm. It's like a dissolvable, almost like a watercolor pencil. But it says just a ring. Okay, here's what made me think I want to decorate more. Okay, so let's decorate. I'm looking over here. Okay, what do we got? This nice guy. Yeah, we could do something there. Let me put you there. <coughs> Mr. Heartthrob. Okay, here we go. How about we put a little, put a little. Oh. What is going on? There's like stuff falling. Okay, it's just wires and stuff that are falling off because I unplugged my computer. It's all fine. There's nothing going wrong. No, no, there's no ghosts in the room. <laughs> it's all good. Okay, let me just ink you up a little bit more. All right. Okay. Well, maybe we can have him sit on the jar. No, nope, that won't work. Okay, maybe I'll just put you like that. That's kind of cute. All right. Let's put you down. Oh, we can pop this piece out here. Sometimes these have extra little pieces that need to be removed. There's a little tiny one right there. See that? Can you see that? Probably not. All right. I'll just remove it. I should have probably left it. Okay, there we go. Okay. Oh, got the neighbor. Somebody's cutting their grass. There we go. So he's only going to be glued on the bottom half. And you can layer up and, and put material or fabric or cheesecloth, which would look very cute. I think I'm going to draw a little something on this mason jar punch. I'm just going to maybe emphasize the thread so it would be nice if I could go straight. No, it's not going to happen. There. Some kind of pill bottle. How about that? <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's use the Scotch Create glue stick for that. Here we go. Here we go. I'll just pop you there. Yeah, that's a good start. Okay, maybe he looks like, maybe, I, I kind of want to do something in that corner. Let me look in the land of clusters. Is this some pre-made clusters I have here? Oh yeah, that's kind of pretty. Uh, you know, and there's really no right or wrong way to do this. You just try things on for size. Now I have words down there, so I want to try something different. So here's <clears throat> ledger and a little bit of material. That's kind of nice. Nice contrast with that. Oh, we have a little, a little, that's pretty too. Just a little, this is actually a page tab. I made a little page tab on that. Could you be a page tab on both sides? I'm going to cover my bird. You can cover the bird too, it's okay. You could also do the page tab at the top. You know, wild and crazy. Yeah, I don't know. Not sold. See, this is where you got to try things on for size. That's different. Oh, I like that. There we go. I think we found the happy place. Yeah, but first, I definitely want to ink these edges because to me, they just seem like a little stark. A little stark. So we're going to do a little inking. Okay, that's good. And now where'd that piece go? Here? Yeah, I think that's going to be very pretty. All right, here we go. So as you can see, this is how it happens. This is how things get mushroomed up very quickly when you're making a junk journal. And I like to have some things overhang a little bit. See that? So when you close the book, you've got these little feathery bits that are sticking out. It's like, oh, wait a minute. what is that? I wonder what that is when I get to it. I, it will reveal itself. That's what happens. Uh, I might leave this just like as a rest uh, eye rest page. Oh, that's right. I just love that. I almost don't want to do anything to that because it's just so pretty and neutral. Yeah, if I, if I do anything here, it'll take away from that. I'm going to leave that. I just love that. Okay. The border. Very nice. Very functional. Maybe we need a little something. This might... Okay, so apparently, maybe, maybe this is a good time for a quote. I've learned that being too quick to judge someone can deprive you of a great encounter and the possibility of a wonderful long-term relationship. Well, there you go. That person learned a good lesson. What's this one? I learned that if your mother made pimento cheese with Miracle Whip, you you don't like it when it's made with mayonnaise. No, <laughs> I, I, I do like Miracle Whip better than mayonnaise myself, so I'm, I'm going to go with that one. Yeah. So you just find something fun for yourself. The person was 52 who came up with that one. These little, little rules of life, you know, they're so cute. 
They're just so cute. And you could put these on in so many ways. Um, now notice, and, and this, there's no rhyme or reason to this, but I'm just pointing it out for the sake of it, that this is about the same width as that. So if I put it down here, there would be a nice counterbalance, but you don't have to have counterbalance, no. No, you could, you could come and do it. I think I'm actually gonna put it on its side because I just think it creates a little bit more visual interest and it kind of brings the person into the page and then they can write all their lovely stories here. And uh, you can put more on here, but I think I'm just gonna let that rest. Okay, here we have, here we have this page, which I, it has a wonderful feel to it. I wish you could feel it. It's a special writing paper. Um, this one is a little flip envelope, which I, I do like that. And the bird against the white, I think shows well. I'm not gonna overdo that. This is very nice. I could totally overdo that. Let me overdo it a little. <laughs> um, okay, let me see what I got. So little trims, little trims. Hello, little trims. So that would be pretty. What's this? That'd be very nice on there, but maybe white would be better. Oh, what's this little tuftaroo of something? Nobody knows. It's just a little oddball. I like that. Let's see. Be a little surprise, like... It coming along. What's that? Oh, look at that. Yeah. I think maybe that's what I'll do. I'll do. I'm going to add this here. Okay. Now somebody asked me, when you're gluing down lace, it comes through. Yes, you're right. It does. And what do you do about it? You kind of have to just wait. You put it down. Okay. You got to look at the, what's the right side. These are kind of tricky sometimes. Um, I like it to overhang a little. So we're overhanging a little. So I totally missed it there. You see that? That's okay. Um, so what's going to happen when I turn the page? Everything's going to glue together. So, oh, I don't want you touching that. No, oh, okay. I'm going to try and remove some of this. I'm coming in with the finger removal technique. And you know what? Now I think I'm going to be very bold, and I'm just going to put that there. I just, I don't know. I feel like it needs that. So I'm just layering this up as I go for no particular reason other than it just feels good. And uh, I want I want somebody to have something to feel when they go through the book, when they, they have a... A tactile experience. Maybe this only lives in my mind, but I want them to have a tactile experience um, as they journey through the book. It's uh, visual. It's uh, touch. It's smell. There's a paper smell. Um, there's a glueish kind of smell. Most of the glue smell evaporates, but there is essence of glue. You know. You know what I mean. And uh, so it's very stationary in its nature. Yeah, I think that's pretty. Just enough little. Just a little something. And you could have actually just glued the top and used this as a flip, and that would have given them that writing space too. But no, I stole it from them. Yep, gone. All right. Pretty book page. I think I'm going to leave that blank. That's just nice. That's kind of cool. I would like to put something there. That I, would, I, I just feel like I want to put a big rubber stamp there. Let me do that. All right. I'm over here, and I'm, I'm looking in my rubber stamp land, of which there is a lot. Here's this bird. I feel like I've used this one recently, but we'll use it again. Um, there we go. And let's just rubber stamp you right here. There. I don't know, there's something about rubber stamping on written words, which I think is it's just lovely. Now you could come and um, uh, color that in as well, which would be very pretty. You could watercolor it or use a marker or something like that. But I think I'm just gonna leave it as is. I think it's just pretty. All right, here, this is a pretty page. We have this. So I'm, I'm not trying to fill in every empty page. I'm just going through and decorating the things we have. See, I'm telling you guys that because I'm trying to remind myself to do that. Okay, this is a wraparound. We're going to leave that. So we do have lots of uh, blank writing pages. Um, often I get accused of not leaving enough writing pages. Here, as you can see, there is a lot of writing pages. See, it, it does exist. There, that's there, that's cute. It has that on the back, you are good. Maybe something to counterbalance here? Maybe, yeah, I could see it. Maybe I'm going to, oh, that would be nice. That's very fancy, why don't we do that? We could turn that into a little, oh, it's got that on the back, it's even prettier. Which, now, which, which should I do this side? Well, that side's very pretty though, but I, this side I think is what it's meant to be. This was what its origin came from. Yes, it was this one. Like that? No, nope, I think it was definitely like that. Okay, so I'm going to turn this into a upper 
corner tuck by doing the L-shaped glue maneuver. It's very fancy. It's like a triple Lutz. No, it's not fancy. It's easy. Anybody can do it. You too. I'm sure you've done it a million times already. And if you haven't, what are you waiting for? It's, it's very easy. Okay, there we go. So what does that do? That allows me to put something else under there. I'm going to let this dry first, though, before I go causing may oh, mayhem. Okay. It's a like a mesh on the back, so it might take a second to grab, but it, it will grab. We'll come back to it later. Some old book page, very neat. Oh, here we have our triple side tuck. And I think that's got enough decoration on it. Okay, blank page, which I think is okay after a page with heavy decoration. If you're unsure, you can always come in. Oh, with a butterfly. You know, you can never go wrong with a butterfly. Maybe a butterfly here, maybe. Yeah. There, 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 there. Oh, that's nice. How about there? Here? Okay. <laughs> you have so many choices. You really do. And it's kind of nice to rotate around the world when you're doing these. Okay, for this one, instead of futzing with it for an hour, I'm just going to glue the whole thing down because I think it's going to... We, we all get to the same place. You know what I mean? Okay, maybe we're going to put you sideways. All right, I changed my mind. There we go. All right, we have that. I got to put a word under it. I don't know what it just says. Word, please, word, word, word. All right. Coming. Um, I have like a million words. Why do I never use them? I always grab the same words. How about beauty? I know. I grab, I grab these same words all the time. Um, I really like them. Um, okay, let's try this. Oh, I hope I didn't smudge it. Not bad. Not bad at all. I think that's kind of cool. Um, sometimes a word, a bird, a butterfly, a number, a little piece of material, just something to set it off can, can add worlds of fun. Worlds, I tell you. Worlds. Very cool. Okay, we have a couple of these. He's covered, so we only need something on this side. Uh, let me try and find something different. I'm going to look in my, my little um, basket of lace of which I have thrown everything together in one thing. I have all my likes together. Oh my God, it's a big box. <laughs> all right, should I put something red and be bold? What do you think? Well, that's not going to be, well, let's see. Is it's tech? No, it's not covered there. That's all right, though. What if we just, what if we just did that on top? We could do that. We could also come down the side. That would look really cute. But you, you're a little fatter. What have you got to say for yourself? I'm a little fatter. Yes, you are. You are. Okay, that's kind of a pretty ribbon. I like that. All right, we're going to use you. I think it must be a Christmas ribbon or something. But I think you're going to perfectly cover those holes. And it grounds the page. Yeah. Okay. Yep, there we go. All right, now we're just going to maybe run that over the glue stick. Glue stick will handle um, light fabric projects. This glue stick will handle light fabric um, not all glue sticks will. Some glue sticks are useless. Have you, have you encountered the useless glue stick yet? You want to encounter the useless glue stick? Hop on down to your Dollar Tree and buy the Jot brand. Puh! Yeah, no luck with that baby boy. At least over here I didn't have luck with it. So that's when I swore to myself when I find a good glue stick I will capture it and uh, I will use it forever. So apparently that's what I'm doing. And... That's very nice. Okay. Okay. So we have this little guy and I, I don't think I, I don't think I want to decorate him. I think I'm going to leave him as is. Hello, dear. I'm recording. I was just called honey mouse. Yeah. In public. You just called me honey mouse and I'm recording. Now the whole world knows what you call me. <laughs> Thanks. <sighs> okay. <laughs> All right, so oh, we're at the second signature. Look at that. Now we get to put on another button. Oh boy, this is good. All right, so here we go. Let's grab our tails. Maybe I'm going to use this a pretty little pearl button. It's a very old shank style button. Um, and sometimes you don't, we don't know what to do with those buttons in junk journal world. But here is, here's one thing that you can do. I guess I could just tie. You don't really need the first knot if you do this. But now yeah, I think I'm going to do the, the, the old, the, the way I showed you before. It just works out better for some reason. So tie a knot wherever you want the button to live. 
my button's going to live about maybe an inch down if I get it right. All right, there we go. How long are you? Well, it's going to be a little different length. Little different lengths are okay, though. It's kind of a um, little, little of this, little of that. You know, it's kind of a, an eclectic collection of pack rat items in this book, which is so much fun. Okay, here we go. Got one. Now I should probably do it the other way. Left over right, right over left. Is going to make it a nice tight knot. If I would have said it the other way, I could have had a nice rhyme. But no, no, no. Okay, so we have this little guy. And, and these, you don't have to. I mean, people, this is very nostalgic, actually. A lot of people, it reminds them of school, you know. And uh, so there's nothing wrong with that. But maybe I'm just going to come in here with a cluster. <laughs> there we go, a little cluster right there. That looks really nice. It has some pop. And I think it's going to do our bidding. It's going to do our bidding. Okay, like that. Oh, my goodness. Sorry for the lawnmower. But, yep, yeah, he's over there mowing away. Mow, mow, mow. Yep, that's okay. I'm sure he's got to get it done. Yeah, like that. And just a little hang over the edge. Not mandatory, just optional. All right. Little torn piece here. You can just tear those off. You don't have to. The pages don't have to be perfect. I think there's character in the torn page. Um, totally leave it up to you. Oh, I'm gonna do the back of that. With some, oh, look what I found. Look at oh, fancy town. So just punched out some hearts out of book page. A uh, little ink and stickles at some point in time. Uh, so it's ready to go. Especially with the stickles, it's great to bulk make those things because. They're dry and ready to use when you're ready to go. So that does speed things up. If you have a little stash of pre-mades, if you don't have a stash of pre-mades, you can make as you go. It slows your process down a little bit, but then, you know, you're making as you go. That's, that's the way it goes. I feel like I want to stencil now. I haven't stenciled in a bit. So I'm over here, over here. Yeah, here we go. All right, let me get my little paddle brush. There's probably enough on here. Hmm, I'm gonna use some pink. Worn lipstick, same paddle brush, I know. I'm just gonna try and put some different colors on here. Maybe some pink on this side. It kind of comes pinky brown because I end up mixing everything together. All right, so that's pink. And we have some, oh, there's the green. Right there, right where I left it. This is peeled paint. Okay, here we go. Rubbing it in there. Probably have the coming down, coming down the mountain here. And you don't have to do the whole stencil. You can do partial stencil, little stencil, big stencil, you name it. You go as far or as big or as little as you want. But it is a very nice way to break up a white page. It just gives you some prettiness. It adds no bulk. It's awesome. And uh, that you can certainly keep going and do fun things. So we'll call that one done. This is a nice rest page. Oh, I love that. This is nice. We're not doing any more here. We could, but we're not. Um, I don't want to over bulk you. You know what I mean? I mean, I can really go crazy. Uh, but uh, I don't want you, you know, writing home saying, well, she took us down a dark path. I was doing fine. Next thing you know, the thing was so full, I couldn't open it. Um, it's not that bad. It's okay. <laughs> uh, that's pretty. I do. I want something here, but this, not this. What? We got a. Oh, that's kind of cool. This is. Oh, it looks like a piece from the book, doesn't it? Like part of the spine or something. I don't know. Let me just use a piece of it. Definitely an old book piece. That's kind of cool. I just put that there. All right. Well, just, you just become part of the book. See, from whence you came. There you go. You. Piece of book. <laughs> I think it's part of a spine. That's what it feels like. All right, there we go. What are you? You want to be on there too? A little rose? Yeah, we need a little more action there. I had this rose sitting here. This is a reproduction of a Victorian die cut. These are very beautiful. These were gifted to me. Thank you. Um, eh, eh, eh. And um, let me. Go ahead and get, get this rose out. Let's see, we'll just take you out here. No, you don't need all your leafy friends. You and your leafy friends. <laughs> it's 
like you and your little dog. That would be me. Yes, you and your little dog. Yes, what about me and my little dog? <laughs> We're a team. We do everything together. We're a set. And uh, he's such a good little boy. I just, I don't know. He just gets my heart. I don't know. What can I say? You know, I'm like every other dog lover. Okay. Oh, that looks pretty. I like that. Yeah. Okay. We're going to put that down. Let me get now. When you have delicate little pieces like that, it is actually, I find it easier to work with a very thin stream of the Fabrifix as opposed to running it over the glue stick because it might tear. And then you, you can still repair it, but then, you know, it's one more thing to do, which is sometimes still fun, but there you go. Okay, put the green there. It's very, very nice. Okay, now we're rolling. Now we're rolling. What is this? Oh, this is a pretty uh, double belly band. And we have decoration. Okay, that's plenty. And then we have the pages that stick together, which we have to deal with because an old decorator here keeps going. You know, how far are we from the end? I'm like taking you for a long ride today, aren't I? I'm not letting you out of here. No, you gotta, you got to stay for the whole time. You can't go. Yeah, I'll cancel all your appointments <laughs> and, and watch me glue paper. Well, since I have all that goo up there, I'm going to cover it up. Yeah, look what we made. Do you remember making these? Were you around in those days? That's pretty. We could put that there. That would be very nice. Let's do that. So these are just some fun embellishments that I, little pre-mades that I had just sitting there. And I made them, almost all of them with you. I mean, pretty much make everything with you guys now. I mean, yeah, I do a little off-site too, but uh, um, there we go. That's very nice. Yes. Okay. Yeah. All right. Now, oh, that's very pretty. Look at this little guy. Is that one thing or two? I think it's one. That's really pretty. Oh, that that might be nice, like right there. Oh, that's really pretty. Boy, I, I did good on that day. Look at that. Let me put that right there. All right. I really like that a lot. That's a pretty piece. See, you can you can just stick something on a page three quarters of the way down and to call it a day. You can totally do that. Let me just ink it up a little bit on this side. And if you want to do some kind of finishing here, you can come along. And since this book has red tones, um, maybe I'm just going to do a little red border there. That would be just adorbs. So this is a little red rickrack. I don't normally work with red, but every once in a while, there you go. She's into the reds. And it's pretty. It, it actually is very uh, pretty color. And it's, um, I guess it's the other neutral. Well, they used to say that. I don't know if they say that anymore, but... Who, who, who else likes red? Anybody, any, we have any red aficionados out there? Do you have a lot of red in your wardrobe? It's a very um, beautiful color. There, that looks nice, right? Lots of space to write. Oh, and here's the flip-up envelope. Should we put a surprise under it? Why don't we? Why don't we? Okay, let's look around. So now it's very important that sometimes you go to different places or things that you haven't yet explored. Let's see you. you. We wouldn't be expecting you there. I didn't cut you out very well. If I can round you up a little bit. I don't, I don't do ovals very well. Oh, that's a disaster. Hmm. Maybe, just maybe, we're not going to use you because I'm not very good at ovals. Could you put a little dictionary page there? What are you? Oh, it's like a little tie. It looks like something Blair Witch Project left behind. It will stick you on the edge of a page. That might be kind of cool. Yeah, sometimes you can just grab little pieces of something and, and glue them down. No rhyme or reason. You just do it. There we go. Yeah. Blair Witch that. <laughs> That's what it reminds me of, you know, those, I don't know, those weird little twig things. That, um, I want to put something there. What else is going to be? Oh, I could put a coin. Oh, I circle punched these out, so these are better. Oh, that's kind of cool. That's neat. All right, let's do that. Yeah, I think that's it. You could put a poem. You could put another pocket. You could do a million things under here, but I just want to keep it relatively flat, but eye-appealing. Interesting, something fun. For you to tell the grandkids about. Yeah. Okay. 
Coin books and stamp books are fun books to collect for journal making. Give you a lot of intrigue. It almost looks like the like a sliver of the moon there too. Isn't that neat? I like that. Okay, so there we go. We have that now. Carry on. Another little uh, Valentine. See, I was originally making this all at Valentine's, but that went out the window. Yeah. Because there's a Santa. Oh, that would be a nice little contrast. Okay, we'll put you there, Santa. Sometimes you can cut up gift wrap. You can cut up Christmas cards. You can cut up um, playing cards. You can do all sorts of fun things to get your images. You can use digi kits. You can use uh, your own doodles, your own artwork, your own um, watercolors and things like that. Pen and ink, whatever you like. Whatever you like. There we go. Uh, maybe I should put you upside down, should I? Maybe. Yes. I think that would be fun. Here's our little flower. Um, do we want to? Maybe we want a little something in the center of the flower. Hmm. Hmm? No. You just never know till you keep going. You know, you just gotta sort of. What's that? This is a piece of braille. That's kind of cool. Yeah, I'm gonna put that in there. All right, let me make it pink since there's some pink here. No real reason. I'm just making it pink. Maybe I'll make it green too. Just to throw ya. How about that? Where's my, oh, I don't have my green, my green guy out yet. Got him. Here he is. Green dauber at the ready. Into the peeled paint. Okay, I'll just make it half and half. That might be fun. Okay, so that, yeah, that's kind of pretty. All right, let's put you down. I'll be chasing you across the page for an hour. Come here. Come here. All right. Okay. There we go. Oh, I should have turned it around. Because the pink. Oh, okay. No, nope. you're staying there now. All right, there you go. Well, I thought it would be nicer to have the pink on this side, so it would contrast. But I think that looks pretty, right? Okay. So how are we? We're like we're in the third. I'm gonna leave that as is. I think this is good. This is good. 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 Oh, I like the way that came out. That was just a wrap around. <coughs> Dictionary page. Came out kind of cool. Probably want something here. Something. We need something. What will it be? What will it be? Oh, that's cool. Look at that. That's really pretty. I have to put it like that, maybe. Mm hmm. I have to cut off a little bit. Oh, that's very pretty. Let's do that. Do you remember when we did those? Were you here? We have a video on that. We, yes, we, we, me, myself, and Irene. <laughs> me, myself, and I. All right, let's put that down. Just ticking over the top a little bit. And it's just a little head border there for some fun. All right, what else we have? We're going through. Okay, we have a couple of these. I'm looking. Oh, I have one of those. Well, that be? That's probably too wide, right? Yeah. Oh, we could make a little pocket out of it, though. Hmm, if I put it down there, that would work. Okay, so let me try that. Put it there to here. Oh yes, he is revving to, he is like going to town out there. He is just all about the revving. He's gonna show that grass who's boss. That's right, those weeds don't stand a chance. No, 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 no. <laughs> hey, come down. Hey, you missed one. <laughs> okay, here we go. There are little embellishments from days gone by. All right. Okay, we're going to make a U-shaped pocket out of this. Yeah, just because we, we are. I'll put something fun in it. Don't know what it's going to be yet. Let's see if we can find something fun. Okay. There we go. You just stick there for a second. Don't breathe. And I'll find something fun. I'm over here looking for something fun. Let's see what you find. Do you find anything, Pam? Keep looking. What's that? Oh, that's interesting. All right, I'm just gonna bring up a few things. Here are the things. Let's see, I found a Robert Allen furniture thing. Oh, this is pretty. Is that a card? Oh, it is, somebody gave me a card. I gotta put that over there. I have, I collect all my cards and everything. Okay, I can't remember if I already put these in here. I think I did. Okay, oh, yep. There's a letter. Gotta save that. Oh, I got to glue down, glue down. Oh, uh, thank you. Somebody made that. Okay. 
Ah, yes, this is my, my favorite quote. One of my, I have several favorite quotes, but this is one of them. Without complete solitude, no serious work is possible, said Picasso, apparently. Yeah. All right, let's try. you can go in there. Okay, what are you? An interesting map. Yeah, that kind of plays off the green and the yellowish color. I like that. Hmm. And somebody's uh, death notice. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's good. We'll just put that there. All right. So that's very nice. Okay. We have that. Okay. We have some of those. Well, yeah, you don't have to copy those. No, it's not mandatory. There I have a, I cut this out of my coffee cup hot holder thingy. Maybe there with just his tail hanging off. It obscures it nicely. Okay. Let's do that. I'm talking very quietly. Did I get quiet all of a sudden? I don't know why. Oh, I didn't mean to put glue on the very end. Oh, well, we'll figure that out later. All right. Here we go. Just the tail. Barely the tail hanging off. Okay. Here, you want something? I have something. Don't you just worry. I have things for you. Mm -hmm, I do. I do, I do. Oh, here we go. Right, I got a few things. We'll try it. Okay, here we go. I have a little bird. And I have a maple leaf and a little, oh, that's the matching butterfly. Oh, that would be very cute. Okay. We'll go for similarity in this case, which we don't do often in the book, but um, I don't. But um, it, it, can ha it can be a thing. There we go. Now, everything's fine on that side, fine on this side, and we are carrying on. Oh, we're at a middle. You know what that means. We're putting on a button. Let's see, I have three to pick from. I haven't used a silver black one yet. Let me put that on. Okay, we'll try my knot. About an inch down. See how I do? Yeah, going, going. Oh boy, we're getting to be a long video today. All right, well, that happens. I haven't done any super longs in a while. We'll see how long y'all last or if you, you pass out. Maybe you're going to pass out. Maybe you already fell asleep while you were having your snacks. I'll bet that's what happened. Or are you crafting? Maybe you're crafting with me. That would be fun. All right. There we go. Okay. Ooh. I hope you're getting lots of ideas and you're like, all right, I saw enough of you already. I can go do this myself. I got this. <laughs> Sorry, say it. I totally got this. Just let me add the papers. Let me add the papers. All right. Well, if you need emotional support, I am here. Feel free to turn me on and uh, I will be happy to babble along with you as you create. Yeah, I'm a good babbler, apparently. Yeah. I've heard funny things along the way, like you talk too much, you talk too fast, you make up strange words. This is not a dog channel. Can you please take the dog away? Um, <laughs> I've heard everything. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's okay though, it doesn't bother me. Now, I know people have thoughts and opinions, that's okay, they see that pops nicer. All right, there we go. I just love uh, field guides. Okay, we need some, okay, we have decoration there. Oh, yeah, what's this? Oh, another little thing, that would work perfectly. I've learned that a marriage can survive almost anything except, except the husband staying home all day. There you go. You heard it from the mouth of the wife, I would imagine. <laughs> or a very observant child, perhaps. Mm -hmm. Well, no, 58 years old. Maybe when they learned that, they were, they were the spouse. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Well, COVID gave us a good run at that, huh? Living on top of each other, hiding inside. Ugh. Hope things are getting back to normal. Hope everybody's doing all right. I know there's still people suffering out there. So, so we send our prayers to everybody hoping they're doing well and we all get through this unscathed. There's some more. Oh, that's a kind of a cool braille one. That's neat. Let's make it a green butterfly. Look at this side. So the braille, little braille paper is up so you can feel it. That's not something you come across every day, which is kind of fun to feel if you've never felt braille paper. It just gives you the greatest respect, you know, for people who can understand that. Oh, I just, I don't, I can't discern the little bumps. I just feel bumps. They all feel bumpy to me. All right, we've already decorated that. A couple of blank pages. All right, we're cruising. We're almost there. 
These are good. That's fine. Hey, this was very nice. We just made that, didn't Oh, yes, yes, we did. That was very fun. This is good. Oh, we probably need something there. I think what I'm going to do is wrap it up now because we do have another signature to go, but I don't want it to keep you 110 years on this one because I don't want you to pass out because you might have passed out at this point. Um, so, Sunny, do you have anything to say? I do. I have something, but I'll make it quick, Mom. Did I already say something? I can't remember. Maybe, maybe, not sure. Okay, I'm floating in. Yeah, here I come. Hi, whoop, what's that down there? There's a, is, that, is that a snack? No. Mom, you were snacking earlier. I know, don't give me away, don't give me away. But you're not supposed to snack in the, no snacking in the craft room. You could eat something that is not a snack. <laughs> that would be not good. <laughs> so, happy snacking, happy crafting. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Okay, bye, Sunny. Um, uh, yeah, so in a nutshell, are you ready for this? <laughs> Anybody who's new? Uh, thank you to everybody who has been here. And we're having a lot of fun. Let's see how fat it got, just so you can see. Oh, yeah, it's getting a little chunk here. Okay, I'll give you the sur super, this is like a super squeeze, so I just could get it down to like what most of the regular folk out there would call normal, but hey, she's got some chub. We like that. That's very nice. Uh, she's got overflow. That's very nice. I like that. Spilling out with all sorts of little goodies and strings and love and love, 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 love. And, um, hey, my videos come out Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays, 7 a.m. Eastern Time. My podcasts come out Tuesdays and Thursdays. If you have not signed up for my free monthly emailed newsletter, what are you waiting for? Because I send you a free digital image every month in different sizes on one page. You print it out at home, and you can have fun with it in your artwork any way you like. And um, I have uh, um, an Etsy shop with journals, occasionally, uh, fundals, which are collections of old paper, and... Um, unique paper like uh, vintage ledger postcards uh, things like that and uh, old book pages hand dyed papers and I bundle those up and send them off to you and I have an Amazon shop with four sections I also oh I also have vin vintage digi kits in my Etsy shop where um, those are printable downloads and you just purchase the computer file and then you can save it and print it out as many times as you like and use it in your artwork as many times as you like and uh, they're stored on Etsy for you eternally after purchase Mm. I have an Amazon shop with four sections in it. One is favorite tools and supplies. Another one is uh, books that junk journalers might find of interest. Um, another section is craft storage areas and also um, Sunshine's favorites. Um, I have a Facebook group. Come and join the Facebook group. We're having a lot of fun over there doing weekly and monthly challenges. And I have... Um, uh, um, all my links are in the description box below. I have a merchandise shop if you're looking for zipped hoodies and sweatshirts and t-shirts and mugs and things like that with Create with Reckless Abandon or the Paper Outpost on it. And remember, most of all, most of all, that we are not finished this project yet and she's going to get chubbier. So let's just see where we take this. So this is what her little tails are starting to look like at this point. Look, almost like a little bunny rabbit tail. So your book can still sit. Voila. It can still sit and they show, which I think is kind of cute, or you can pull them out the top and use them as a bookmark, something like that. And um, anyway, have fun out there. Uh, have way more fun than you are allowed and laugh often and, you know, just dive into your papers, grab your glue, grab your scissors, have some fun, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>